Hi everyone, really quick video today just to show you the light meter in action on the Sennai Reef Monitor. Something that I don't use personally, but I've had a request just to show you in action. So I thought I'll throw you know, a quick video together um, just to show you what I'm getting from my tank. Now my tank's not big, specs are below um, if, you, if you're interested. Now you can see sort of three graphs on there. The one that keeps moving a little bit, which is the black and white line, that's the current light readings. Overlaid on that, the thick multicolored line is the par and then that um, other dotted curved one is the human eye response. They don't change. Um, I think they're just for reference. I'm not too sure. As I say, this is something that I don't really use and I've not really looked into. The sensor for the light meter is located on the back of the uh, reef monitor. Now, as you can see, as I, I've started at the top of my tank and I'm going to slowly move down. Now, as you can see, as I, as I start to move down, you'll see readings start to change. Now, what you can do, if, you, if, if you've got lots of corals or you know lots about your corals, what you can do is you can use these readings to better place corals in your tank. So corals that have higher light requirements or, or, or whatever, you can put in the right place and you can use this to gauge at what point in your tank gives you the, the correct lighting for your coral. So it's a good way of actually sort of making sure your corals are you know, positioned you know better in your tank again i don't have many corals so it's something that i don't personally use the graph that i'm getting seems to sort of uh, be the same as what uh, senai uh, say that you should have so i'm not too not too worried and again this is you know i don't have many corals so this again is a feature like i said i'm not really that interested in i'll put some links below um if you want to go and check out more details about the light meter how to use it how to understand it um, and if you've got any questions, um, you want me to try anything out, you know, just please let me know. Put some, you know, comments or questions below. I will do my best to try and sort of answer those for you. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you found this uh, useful and uh, I'll see you all in the next video.